it, it's been difficult with jet lag and with the, with the heat, but the players have worked hard, and we're really just simple things uh, to get right. There are existing structures in place uh, from uh, previous uh, matches, so it's just really just getting concentration and execution on, on basic basic stuff, line out scrum, uh, kickoffs, possession. And obviously, after the game, we'll have something else to work, to work with. Three new faces: Blair Cowan, uh, and you've got Finn Russell, and you've got Gordy as well coming into the front. What are the qualities of the of the three players that that, that fit them for purpose for a Scotland team? Well, it's going to give us um, options uh, at ten, and ten is a very important position, as everybody knows, in play making, decision making, uh, setting depth on attack, and um, and a lot of other things, so it's really important. He's been playing well, Finn. Um, I uh, like the look of him, he defends well, he's got a good eye for the game, obviously we're going to try and develop that as well, and it's an opportunity first time up to uh, you know, show what he's got. I think he uh, deserves a start. And uh, Blair's been uh, been playing well for his club, and uh, we've got a couple of injuries at open side, so he gets an opportunity. Uh, I like the speed he gives us uh, in, in, in open play and off obviously set phase. Uh, he's quick to the ball, uh, he tackles well. I'm hoping he's going to put stress on their playmakers, he's going to move hard on their 10, uh, their 9 and 10, and hopefully he can force errors. And, and that's, you know, those are the simple things we want to work on our defence, and he's going to help spearhead that. And Gordy, of course, is the other thing we want to get right a set phase. And he's been playing well, he gives us size. Uh, He's got good technique at scrum time. It's his first test match and really a big opportunity to, to stake a claim for that front row spot. We've got a couple of injuries and, and you need depth uh, going into World Cup and, and front row. So it's, I think all those things are really important and, um, and I really wish them luck and I'm, I'm sure they'll play well. But in a, a city that kind of celebrates sport, in a country that celebrates sport, you look around, you've got, you've got American football, you've got soccer, you've got baseball. What do you expect? From, from the USA rugby team, what do you think their their qualities will be? Uh, their um, the first thing I noticed is I, uh, I watched them the end of their training today. Uh, obviously, didn't show me too much, but what I did see was uh, 25 uh, athletes on the paddock. They are fit, they're strong. A lot of them have come off. Uh, professional development in our Northern Hemisphere competitions, whether it be a, a Viva or elsewhere. Four of them played uh, finals this last weekend, so I expect them to be a mixture of uh, brute strength, speed, they're developing technique and understanding. Uh, they will be very emotional about playing here in Houston. They pushed Ireland very close last year. They pushed the the Marry All Blacks very close. This type of game, you know, they're going to revel in it. They really want to create havoc. So we've, you know, we expect them to come at us very hard and fast. It is a fast track. We've got to control and develop our game with their enthusiasm in front of us. So it's a good test. You know, we're really expecting this to be tough, and, uh, and it will be.